Hello there everyone and welcome back to the Cold War Iron Curtain mod for Hearts of Iron 4. Hope I don't get those names mixed up. But anyways, right now we're establishing ARPA. The Soviets with their Sputnik launch have proven just how far ahead they are in advanced fields of research. And we can't afford to fail any further behind. Or fall any further behind. ARPA, or the Advanced Research Products Agency, will serve us to that end. Oh, McCarthy passes away, national hero. Oh, Senator Joseph McCarthy has passed away from acute hepatitis. Bro, that sucks. Rest in peace, bro. We start off this hard? Wow. Not paid. Bros. I'll give them a week. They have until November, or May 23rd to pay up, or they're not going to get anything from us. So, oh, McCarthy's gone. That's unfortunate, man. But time must go on. Anything else here? Transportation Act, ARPA. Just pull the army to Little Rock. Let's do Transportation Act. Due to a brand new super highway system, railroads already struggling due to airlines are doing even worse. The Transportation Act will authorize the ICC to loan railroads money and fix prices to attempt uh, to reinvigorate them. Give them a week and then we'll, we'll deal with them. Ah, the BT3A Terrier. At first, I thought it was BT3A Terror. Well, I guess if it's launched, launched towards you, you'd probably be in terror, so. At least I would be, so. Establish NASA? Very good. So, the Price Anderson Nuclear Industries Indemnity Act. More stability is not bad. Establish ARPA. More research speed is not bad. Political power, all we do. So the Civil Rights Act of 57 all we get loses 20 political power. That's kind of sucks. So we'll see what happens. What else? And like normal, let's close out of these stuff because uh, we can. Construction aid the concentrated copper ray, copper ray mine. Well, continuous pressurization sounds like fun. Let's go with uh, hybrid propellant. Oh, home defense, nice too. All right. The ray mine in Pinal County is concentrated sources of copper ore. It'd be worthwhile to financially endow the ray mine so they can keep get deeper, or tap into them deeper veins. <clears throat> Magma copper mine permits. In order to expand the copper mine industry in Arizona, we'll grant permits for the magma. Oh, look at that. Magma mines to expand and begin exploring this valuable construction material. Great Britain completes Operation Grapple. Uh, the GB has successfully performed a thermonuclear test and now joined the world stage of nuclear power. They are expected to begin proliferation of high level nuclear weapons soon and will be able to fully capable within a year. Historical. Rectification campaign. Um, after the radicalization of the land reforms by the elements of the Communist Party of Vietnam, it hasn't taken long for the executions and social isolation of landlords to begin. With the Bulletin Bureau, a document being released that details that one per a thousand people of the total population must be executed, on the grounds of them being landlords or otherwise collaborating with landlords, it's been estimated that 15,000 reactionaries and landlords are dead. The VWP has thus far started a campaign on the rectification of errors after the execution of these landlords, with many which have been falsely or wrongly sentenced to death. With the three-phase operations, it has reclassified peasants and has restitu restituted property that has been erroneously expropriated or otherwise making suitable compensation for those mistakes. Furthermore, there has been a review, inventory, and concentrated re-indoctrination of local personnel. Quite interesting. So, Uganda, I love your hair, man. I really do. But... <sighs> you can't pay up, son. We gave up. The other group apparently paid up. This group, not so much. Tank Destroyer 1s? Well, if we don't need tank destroy wands, we'd probably get rid of them. We definitely need uh, more anti-tank stuff. Oh boy, do we need more anti-tank. Um, you know what? Let's keep making anti-tank. We, we still might need that. So, what's the other one? Uh, Self-propelled anti-aircraft guns 1. Artillery anti-aircraft guns. Uh, Anti-air is not bad. I don't know. We got 3200. We'll probably be fine without it. All right, up next, let's go ahead and do, uh, uh, let's see, uh, improve our World War II SPGs. As we saw during World War II, self-propelled guns were needed to bring adequate firepower to the battlefield. That's not bad, that's interesting. Cool, the Ace versus U.S. Huh. Overturn the conviction of low-level communist leaders convicted of the Smith Act for being members of an organization that advocated for the violent overthrow of the government. Good news! But after this one, let's go ahead and do a coup in Thailand. Oh. Nice belt. Concerning. Yeah, plague. Verbongsongkram. Weird. The Navy's 19th decade. Following World War II, the U.S. Navy emerged as the most powerful surface and submarine force in the world. But the new threat's challenging that might look on the horizon. I mean, it helps if you just blow up everyone else's Navy. So you have the biggest Navy. Yeah, well, we need some more anti-tank guns. I'm glad we got that other factory over there, but... That's looking so bad. Just so bad. But we're still building some more energy, right? Yeah, we definitely need more electricity. Kind of sucks. Subsidies, though. And the 19th decade, which is awesome. Thank you very much. And ARPA will be here. Thank you. And, uh, yeah, why not more stability? Sure, why not? Economic investments. 
Ah, uh, the magma copper mine. Yes, please. Current treasury reserves minus 59 billion. Well, crap. But you know what? It's pretty darn historical for the U.S. to be in debt, so I'm not really worried. After the 19th decade, let's go ahead and choose focus on ultralightweight tank destroyers. It's not bad. M56 discount. I don't know which one is more historical. Focusing on lightweight tanks. Huh. Auditing? Oh, yeah. This stuff too. Cool. Very nice. I don't know, man. Focus on lightweight tanks. You get a bonus for that? Um, <sighs> Am I even making mobile gun system tank destroyers? I mean, we're making anti-tank. Right? We're making a lot of planes, too. Um, Tank destroyers. We are making tank destroyers. We're also making light tanks. Ooh, tank destroyer. Well, it doesn't really matter for me too much, I'll be honest. Gains a discount on stuff for 10 years. Taking light tanks. We already have enough to research, so focus on ultra weight light tank destroyers. Why not? Alright, still missing some more, but we're getting there. We're getting through it. And the well, this one done too soon, which is awesome. What else is going on in the world? But we've, uh, like, don't get me wrong, we got a lot of comments to go through, but. Especially regarding this whole Egypt thing. And I don't remember Israel owning this much of Egypt, but whatever. Well, Gaza's here. Oh, Israel. Oh. I don't know my history that well, apparently. When can we do this one? Oh, I mean this one. We need okay, so we're we just started researching the four eight meter pressure vessels, and we need more than hundred billion dollars available, which is not bad. We'll get there very soon. We'll get there very, 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 very soon. <clears throat> cool. So after this one, upgrade or update the M one zero three. Bonus for one hundred twenty millimeter gun combat tank M ten three A two. Very nice. Uh, insufficient resources, which we know. We need more electricity. We're, we're trying here. We really are. So, But the failure of the anti-party group <clears throat> following the public denunciation of Stalin by Soviet Premier Nikita Khrushchev. He has provoked a lot of anger from Stalinist era officials and others who view Khrushchev as hypocritical considering his senior position during the purges he criticized. A faction has been formed in Kabbalah that includes Grigory Melenkov, Vyacheslav, Molotov, Lazar Gaganovich, Dmitry Shepilov, and among others. The group tried to expose Khrushchev in a dramatic meeting of the Central Committee in which Khrushchev called the group uh, the anti-party group. Before the vote took place, the Soviet Defense Minister War Hero General Grigory Zhukov threatened to dis do destroy the anti-party group even if their vote succeeded due to the crimes under Stalin. However, the vote failed and Khrushchev has had to decide whether to demote, where to demote the anti-party group members to. A blow to the old god. The last of Pan's namesake. Oh, that's 58. Oh, that sucks. Jets for the fleet? Uh, let's wait. That's the production costs. Uh, yeah, as much as I love this one, I think that would be great to do. I want nuclear aircraft. I think that would be a lot more fun. And I know I'm ignoring a lot of the other stuff right now, but eh, it is what it is, you know. They're in the Soviets, huh? You're next. Got it. That, that's pretty cool. Uh, it is 57, so we do have to... Well, you know what? Let's deploy the little Army of Little Rock first. Despite the re result of the Brown v. Board of Education and the recent Civil Rights Act, the Governor of Arkansas, Orville Faubus, is refusing to desegregate Little Rock Central High School. We need to federalize the National Guard, stop the students, and make them escort the Little Little Rock 9 to safety. I get more uh, political power, too. Not bad. I like political power. Hope you like political power, too. And now... Uh, we got a lot to do, but we do have almost 500 PP. Mexico, would you like to be influenced a little bit more? Cool. Economic exploitation. Give you 20% of their industrial parts and military industrial complexes. And will make trade 25% more efficient for you. Nice. Tax breaks? Nice. So seriously, when are, when are they 100% influenced? That is not gone up at all. What the heck? That doesn't make any sense. And, yeah, why not? Well, since we're here... Um, what are we gonna do? Oh, yeah! Nickel stuff? Why not? Cool. And... After that, National Defense Education Act, we need to improve our school system science curriculum so our future chemists and physicists have better backgrounds in those crucial fields. Uh, the NDEA will distribute funds to science programs across America. Very nice. Now, we do have over $100 billion right now, $1.3 in GDP. But, like, normal's not, not enough. 
Little Rock Crisis. After the Brown v. Board case, the National Association for the Advancement of Colored People registered nine African American students for attending at the Little Rock Central High School. Melgian Brown, Elizabeth Eckford, Ernest Green, Thelma uh, Mothershed, Melba Patillo, uh, Gloria Ray, Terrence Roberts, Jefferson Thomas, and Carlotta Wall soon became known as Little Rock Nine. Governor Orville Faubus of Arkansas called on the National Guard to prevent those from attending and images of their plight were spread across the world media, bringing in major international attention. After the guard was removed following legal action, the police took over. Mass rioting and the protest forced them to remove the students. Following this, President Eisenhower made the momentous decision to deploy 1,200 of the first 101st Airborne Division to ensure the students attended safely. Despite suffering constant harassment throughout the year, this turn of event represents a significant stride in desegregation efforts across the South. The Dixies won't be happy about this. Alright, Transportation Act. Oh yeah, that'd be good. A lot, and seemingly random areas. Carolina Islands in the South Carolina, and Palau, and Kansas? Wyoming? Nope. Alright. The Federal Aviation Act. Following up on the Airways Modernization Act of 57, the uh, Federal Aviation Act will further regulate and structure the friendly skies by creating the Federal Aviation Administration. Might as well. How's the GDP growth? It is slowly going up. The rate is 12% ain't too bad, but could, of course, be much better. Jupiter class? Might as well. Yeah, we're really focusing on nuclear, not nuclear stuff, but research stuff. Carson Lebanon, yay! Intervention in Lebanon, President Camille Shamoun of Le Lebanon formally requested the U.S. to intervene during the political crisis consuming Lebanon. Shamoun believes the United Arab Republic, UAR, is using its supporters in Lebanon to undermine the government and overthrow it. Lebanon has been governed under the 1926 Constitution, which offers a delicate balance among the different Lebanese confessional groups. Our analysis indicated UAR coup may cause instability and lead to a civil war between the Maronite Christians and Muslims. A UAR expansion into Lebanon would also undermine the balance of power in the region and may provoke the Israelis, potentially turning the crisis into a regional war. Others are argue intervention would bog down American forces, hurt our standing among the Arabs, and leave an opening for Soviet influence in the region. We can either not intervene or intervene and preserve the current Lebanon's political, political system. The U.S. of A completes a focus. Crisis in Lebanon. Blue Bat. An anti-pan-Arabist coup. We should intervene. What? What? America's got to intervene. There's no doubt about it. They, we have to intervene. Like I said before, I don't know what is historical here, but my god, we got to intervene. Attempted assassination in Chang Mion. Well, that's not good. A close call. Where is it? I think I already passed it, maybe. Where is Lebanon? That's in the Middle East, but still. Operation Vulture, back to M. Alright, let's see. Secure Beirut. Oh, here it is. Crisis in Lebanon. Um, let's see. Secure Beirut International. Bring both sides to the table. Install a puppet leader. Secure Beirut. Bring both sides to the table. We should intervene. Well, I know it's not very historical, but I don't like that. You just auto complete those focuses. I wish you'd, there's more interaction with that. So, what does that do then? Lebanese Republic. The Bonacor Cosmodrome. Ooh. As the Soviet Union expands its ballistic mis defense missile and engages in the development of new systems, the need for a test and launch site has grown. The result is needed. The Soviet government has opened a new rocket test and launch site in southern Kazakhstan called the Bonacor Cosmodrome. The massive facility covering 90 kilometers requires the construction of new infrastructure in a new town to accommodate the required staff. More significantly, as the facility comes into operation, the Soviets also designed the site as the main spaceport of the Soviet Union. Technology and rockets for the space program will be developed and launched from the facility as well. The facility is located close to the equator, and its weather is said to be ideal for future rocket and space launches. The facility is being kept under intense security and secret to protect Soviet airspace and rocket developments from hostile foreign powers. A proud day for the Soviet Union. So how do we get these guys more influenced? Uh, into finding several trade deals and making them a subject state. Do we need 100% to make them a puppet? Uh, many of you politics establish a dependent state. Use our overwhelming economic and political influence of po Oh! Okay, we need 90% influence or more, so we just wasted a bunch of political power earlier. My bad. These 10 form power projection points. Yeah, that's not bad. Let's go and do that one. We must have double the GDP of the target. Well, I think we'll be okay on that. So, actually, that's really cool. We'll save our little bit of money, maybe. Opus Day Dominance in Spain? That sounds familiar. I played them in TNO or something, maybe? Or I need to, maybe before they get an update? I don't remember. But, Department of Defense Reorganization Act. Narcotics manufacturing. Yeah. Although we have passed previous acts of conventions regarding illegal drugs, we gotta reaffirm our commitment to them, as well as create more deterrence to manufacture the drugs. The M and the NMA will accomplish both of those. Um, if you wonder about this about Molotov, please go right ahead. Unsurprising, of course, but it is what it is. 
So we can keep pushing on in this campaign. Sixties left, not bad. Transportation Act. Gotta wanna launch well nukes, but stuff into the sky. Alright, thirteen, not bad. And revive the Walsh Healy Contracts Act. Admission of Hawaii and Alaska would not be bad. <coughs> Department of Defense Reorganization Act. The Dodro will streamline the chain of command in our military, moving decision making from the military departments to the Joint Chiefs of Staff and the Secretary of Defense. If you wonder about Kaganovich and Shepilov, please go right ahead. Interesting. It also created a more centralized military focus of the ARPA, the DARPA. Legislation passed. Great. Air bases are all right. Recruitable population factor, defense recovery rate, more war support. Yeah, you might as well do that one. Why well, don't we get everyday point something? 1.47 is pretty good. Uh, how are we building? Are we building enough? We are. Yeah? We're not actually building off Sparks too, which is why our GDP is probably getting higher and higher. So yeah, we're just going to keep building here. When in doubt, just keep building it out. Moralism sounds like more fun. Um, Less drift defense, more research speed, less pop growth. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Wow, we need a lot of anti tank, don't we? Anti tank grenade machines. Wait. Anti tank guided missiles. That's right. That's what it is. Cool. Just gotta save our PP for now. And then. Uh, oh, Hayes Pond. Oh, KKK. Rated by 500 Lumbee men after James Cole, the leader of the KKK in the area, had been campaign, begun a campaign of intimidation. Huh. Looks like they're after a fine man now. The president eventually visited Taipei. Look at that. So. White D. Eisenhower went to Taipei. Cool. Interesting. Lessons of defeat. Also, that one. Let's get more political power immediately. In the past few years, our people conditioned to victory after the world wars and begin to sense what a bitter def taste of defeat is after our setbacks in Korea. However, that's not entirely bad, as there are different lessons and strategies to be learned from defeat than there are from victory. Sometimes you gotta be you gotta humble yourself, you know? You gotta realize that you can't always win. But you still try your best. You do the best you possibly can. Not bad. Food-wise, it just went down to 191. Hey, slightly more GDP. GDP growth rate just not enough, though. Um, office parks, it's better than cities already. Nice. Agriculture industry is not bad. Civilian factory is not bad. Just wish it was more. I think we all wish it was just more in general, but... But now, we revise the Walsh Healy Contracts Act. The Walsh Healy Contracts Act is 37. Set the base salary for standard and overtime hours for civilian employees working on government contracts and was designed to improve labor standards. That's more than a little outdated, and there are a few changes that, that's got to be made. Might as well. As we continue spending a lot of money on corporations. Or in just subsidies. Oh, for it. Nice, 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 nice. Legislation's been passed. Got Thor done. Some of these guys are now a little bit of two at a time for us. Weapons of mass destruction, though. Never enough time. Decreases the nuclear weapon damage by a factor of five. Oh, God, yes. Anything to the right? Ooh, sarin gas. Um, MRVs. To four. Oh, we can't quite do this one yet. Base computer auxiliaries, huh? Anything else we could do? I probably. I'm more than certain I'm missing something here. Not quite this one, though. Eh, why not? Why not? You know, why not? Lessons of defeat. Narcotics. More political power plus 10%. Lose some stability. Oh, screw that stability. Let's get that 10% more popu population. No. Uh, 10%, uh, what do you call it? Political power. Yeah, PP. Yeah, it's called PP. Nice. Nice. I think overall America's doing okay. Obviously, I want to get Mexico as a puppet. We love Mexicans here. Dependent state. Please. Execution Cho Bang Am. That sucks. Former Progressive Party candidate. Oh, boy. And South Korea. Lessons of defeat. Revise them contract acts. Anything else here? Not quite. Oh, hold up, hold up, hold the phone. Launch unmanned array to orbit. Yes, please. We lose some civvies, but that's all right. We still have 300 billion some up there, which is fine. Admission of Hawaii and Alaska. After being territories of the U.S. since 1800, we finally have support in the Senate to admit Alaska and Hawaii to the Union. We will need to lobby hard for their acceptance, and the flag making industry will have to update their designs. Oh, look at this. And the Gary Communist Party. Nice butt chin, dude. Janos Kadar. Nice booty gin. Keep making, keep shaking, and get another spy. Mary? Introduction of opinion. Interesting. Mary Beatty? Yes, interesting. Alrighty, what's next? 
planes, maybe? Nuclear stuff? Infantry special forces stuff? Oh, yeah. I forgot about some of this stuff. We get more. Oh, yeah. Hey, went up to 1.232. Nice. Office box of 0.593. If we increase that even more, that'd be great. So, three here. And then Hawaii and Alaska. Um, there's really not much else we can do. I mean, yeah, there's normal stuff over there. Of course, we can go to war with Vietnam, yeah, but I'm saving that for, like, JFK and stuff, maybe? Or RF... RFK? No, we're not getting RFK. He's probably gonna die, unfortunately. But he's probably, uh, probably LBJ or something like that. Explorer's Program? Might as well. Explorer's Program is a NASA space project that will conduct experiments and collect, of course, information about physics in outer space. Explorer 1, the first mission rocket lined up, will hopefully achieve orbit. Not a bad idea. Not a bad idea at all. Crafting in the Russian Orthodox Church. If you want to read about that one, please go right ahead. Desalinization continues on. Nice. Oh, you get more political power? Well, not really. You get more army XP. Ooh, two off map uh, stuffies. Yes, please. More industrial parks? I'll take that. Cool. Um, light aircraft. I mean, there's stuff I've, I've obviously been missing, but I don't really care if I'm missing it too much, so. It is what it is. Cool. And they're almost there. Great leap. Oh boy, that's that won't backstab you or hurt you at all in the end. Of course not. Never. Explorers program. Yeah, I like that. Airport construction there. Now. Now we've made the skies over America a safer place, it's time for more people to take advantage of them. The Airport Construction Act will provide subsidies to plan airport projects, as well as support rural airports' continuing service. Declaration of La Salle St. Cloud? Alright, well, Moroccan independence, huh? Falanges in the center of Spain. Cool. A concerning trend. Keep launching them nukes. Alright, uh, stuff in space. Yeah, they're not nukes. Not yet. Eventually, someday. Someday, we'll get there. Honestly, we could probably change one of our laws as well, because, uh, we're looking pretty good. 1.33 trillion is not bad. More pop growth. I like that. But 5% is not bad. Traditional views, regressive views. 15%. Consumer factors? No. Tax... Oh, no. Oh, oh, I want tax breaks, man. Tax breaks would be so good for us. I love tax breaks. We could use more civvies, though. But then again, we could use more energy in general. So, minus 14 is not great. We need some nuclear material as well. But, for the love of God, can we finally puppet you guys? Hey, they're our puppet. Look at that. We actually did it, guys. Good job. The conservatives over here, which is fine, whatever. But uh, now, what does that do? What do we mean puppet somebody? Does that give us more stuff? I hope we can get money from them. That'd be really nice. If we get like money from puppets, that'd be really cool. Then again, we're probably giving them a lot of money. The Landrum Griffin Act solve the missile gap. It seems as if the Soviets are light years ahead of us in rocket and missile technology, even to the point that it's becoming an international joke. We need double efforts and close the gap in our technology. Because right now, it is now, I didn't even realize, 1958, which is really good for us, I suppose. Because we want to push ahead and see what the next president's going to be like. As we're finished with auditing, which is nice. Good. Legislation's been passed, which is good. Uh, we don't have enough to do this now. Crap. Army XP is not bad. Oh, oh yeah. The admission of Hawaii and Alaska is probably our next goal. Because now we get two more cores, and we lose to the political power port, but that's okay. What's going on down here, man? And, but like I said, we do have some comments to go through as well. Yeah. 35% is not bad. Honestly, I'm not sure who to pop it next. Maybe can Can we do Canada? I'd like to get Canada under us. Canadians need to be under us. The Landrum Griffin Act. Now, oh, recently, new relevations have come to light regarding corruption and malpractice among labor unions. Oh, crap. The Landrum Griff Griffin Act will regulate unions' internal affairs and require them to report to the Department of Labor to fix this issue. Oh, Swedish elections? Uh, what's going on, son? Join wars. Can I send volunteers? How many can send? Six. It's not bad. Hmm, I want to send you. Well, let's see what we can do. They don't have a lot of cord stuff, which is, I think, probably a mistake, but whatever. Um, 100, only 100, oh Jesus Christ, 125, that's pretty bad. What are you guys, tactical bombers? I want some fighters there at least. Five group, there you go. Oh, you can do some multi-rolls. Oh, you're multi-roll? Nice. Sabers, nice. Help out, help out as much as you possibly can. Wherever there's conflict, a miracle following. 
Oh, they'll be doing stuff. Yeah, bomb the crap out of them, son. Bomb the crap out of these pieces of garbage. We're closing the Russian monasteries. If you want to read about that, please go right ahead. Duster, huh? Nice. Tommy Cannon's unfortunate. Alright, and then the Griffin Act. God, we can use more money. Please, why don't you have this cord? It literally makes no sense. The Republic of Vietnam should have all this cord, right? Or am I wrong? Maybe I'm wrong about that, I don't know. Let's have a little bit ahead of time, but not that ahead of time. Do that one. Civil Rights Act of 1960, if we're forced to. Even after all of our efforts, there are so many discrimi discriminatory laws and practices designed to prevent African Americans and Hispanics from voting, particularly in the South. The Civil Rights Act will establish federal inspection of voter rolls and introduce penalties for obstructing voters to counter those laws. Sounds, some would say, maybe it was a case of federal overreach. Eisenhower, you're still, you're literally our president, but go on in. Oh, I love the guys with the hats. Look at that. I love their hats. America's raw, son of a gun. We're going to do the best we can. Alright, so my apologies if you couldn't see that. Uh, I actually I clicked off of the game just because I wasn't sure if we could actually see that or not. So I thought the game was crashing, quite literally. Oh, Jiren Ku, nice. Unexpected. That just actually passed, so that's much more important. Um, daily social support goes down. I like this one, yeah. That seems pretty good. Airport, that's that one. Oh! The Vietnam War. The failure for North Vietnam and South Vietnam to agree a unification plan left the regional situation perilous. Among the South Vietnamese, there's those hoping a viable government could emerge, but in rural areas. There was rising discontent over political uncertainty and corruption. The North Vietnamese decided to take advantage of that, began training South Vietnamese communists to begin a national struggle for unification. North Vietnamese cadres were being sent to aid the allies in the South. The South Vietnamese government is organizing its own forces and supporters to crush its threat and then liberate Vietnam themselves. Funding, funding, increased funding? Yeah. Let's get a targeting list going, son. Let's select them all. And please, how do I do this? I just want to. I just want to select Napalm. Can I? It's they're Vietnam. They're Vietnamese. Please, v please, Napalm somewhere. Please. Oh, fallen domino. How did America allow this? Very carefully. These are very motorized. I thought I didn't send this group. I thought I sent the other group, but whatever. Got some of that too. I want to send more infantry actually, so what even are you guys? You're only ten combat with. I love that you have armor on, but still. As long as we're here, they shouldn't be able to bust through our lines, hopefully. So if right sex, we're done with all that stuff. Let's come back over here and finally do the Stratos Fortress. No, 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 no Stratos Fortress is here. Maybe someday, but not today. 61 is not enough. Um, as much funding as they possibly need, god dang it. This is America. Oh, San Manuel's mining shaft is proven. Oh, look at that. Uh, to contain vast and greater quantities of copper than before. Constructing a large major mining site and smelting near San Manuel will greatly support our efforts. This is amazing. Actually, can we keep. Oh, animal in orbit. Oh, yeah. Go right ahead. Go right ahead, boys and girls. They got some Vietnamese commies, and we got some napalm to use. God, I want these napalm so badly. Get somebody. Suic oh, yeah. We love suicide pills. Um, do that. Never know when you're going to need a good suicide pill. Swiss government's concedes the SSKF. Good news, I guess. Well, would you look at that? And they're dead. Nice. Subsidies forever? Oh, we're Earth? 
Materials? Yes. A uranium prospector very recently discovered a strange anomaly near Mountain Pass, California. After inspecting the site, it turned out to be what? In the location of a tremendous massive deposit of elusive rare earth minerals and materials. That's potentially among the richest and largest earth rare earth sites. Operation Heaven. The situation of the KMT in Burma is gradually becoming delicate with pressure from the UN to Taiwan, slowly making it remove the troops and sovereign East Asian nation that is suffering from political instability due to infighting between KMT insurgents and Burmese communist insurgents, and due to the fact that this insurgent army is meddling inside the opium trade, spreading corruption and drug addictions. It was due to this pressure that the Republic of China decided to begin Operation Heaven. With these forces being added in a very small reduction of the insurgent army, tensions were high, but it was eventually agreed that there should be an evacuation of KMT troops from Burma. With months of negotiations, the KMT began a three-phase withdrawal that was half-hearted, with supposed Chinese evacuees looking like Shan's Lahus from Burma with rusting museum pieces instead of modern American military weaponry. A dissolution of the KMT insurgency was declared, The 6,000 regular KMT troops remained in Burma, where fighting began in a month later. One less warlord for Burma. Nice. Well, I want to say we have them on the run, but I don't think we really do. Not yet. Nuclear aircraft? Naval helicopters? Hell, helicopters will launch from destroyers, which who can accomplish anti sub duty with Brio. If the Cold War gets out, we can take the sea lanes open and send reinforcements wherever needed. Thunder Jets, sign us up. Happy 58, everybody. Legislation passed as it should. Nice. Jet, close case book two. Oh, you can get over there to save that division, that'd be great. Leave no division behind, if possible. Relish King of People, North Vietnam condemns leftist deviation. The Central Committee of North Vietnam has recently denounced that the ideology is followed in the People's Republic of China. According to the leadership of North Vietnam, the concepts of Maoism are clear deviation and revisionism of the ideology that's followed in the nation. Marxism-Leninism. The Vietnamese have announced a re reorientation to the USSR while relations with Beijing have soured significantly. The PRC has announced that the decision of the North Vietnam is regretful that it, and that is a shame that North Vietnam is choosing to be a blatant revisionist and reactionary nation. We hope that they can re reorient their course of action as soon as possible. It remains to be seen whether Vietnam will continue its pro-Soviet course. A surprising turn of events. Nice. If we can't save them there, we're going to save them right here. And push up. Good force attack. Siege artillery? Way less supply consumption might help out, maybe. Nah, it's, it's still mountains, so. Nice. And go in here, too. Contum? Help out, help out. Come on, you guys got this. Political angle of the U.S. Naval Doctrine. The U.S. Navy has held a long series of high-level talks among senior levels and national defense leaders. To articulate a more modern, proactive doctrine, the U.S. Navy believes it must deploy fleets across oceans of positions that can quickly arrive on the scene of any emerging international crisis. This will enable the U.S. to more international maneuverability, as it can quickly establish a forward presence and pro force projection. To better enact such a strategy, the Navy required continued and extensive financial support from the government. Interesting. The last pan's namesake. Well, we can do it. It's already 58, so... Nice. Come on, boys. Keep going in. You're doing a great job. Uh, does this reduce supply consumption? No. That sucks. Free those guys. We got them. Oh, and more lag. I love that we sent boys to Vietnam. <sighs> Nothing like it. How do we lose planes here? Still doing some damage, which is nice. Oh, look at that. Space race. Space race mission completed. Nice. Leaderboard! Still working in progress. Don't, still working. Abolishment of the Iraqi monarchy. I clicked it and there goes a. Nothing there. Okay. Contum. Well, we're doing okay. He's learning how to become a commando. Purge of the legal system, the anti riots campaign concerning. Oh, Tom McCannon's very cool. Not quite 1960 yet. Scorpions? Nice. Anything else here? More funding? Yes. Yes, just fund it all. Just, when, you, when in doubt, just fund the Viet, nor, Southern Vietnamese. Not the Southern, not, not the Northern Vietnamese, but, you know, Southern. Just for the fleet. Our U.S. fighter and naval squadrons so rely heavily on propeller driven aircraft. In order to face the challenges of the Cold War, we need to replace them with modern jets. Contum. Like, if we, what happens if we win this war here? Does anything happen? Our guys are learning more, which is a great thing, but. Da Nang. 
Oh, look at this. Whoa, National Liberation Friends gone. Sumatran Revolt. Oh, look at this. The P P P R R I launches a revolt. Concerning. President Sukarno. Ooh. Oh, look, these guys are completely blowing each other apart. We love it. Um, actually, can we get rid of that and do some stuff over here? Oh, yeah, let's do that. Screw the jets. Condemn an Indonesian treatment of Sumatrans. Nice. Buddy, Buttigieg. No, Buka Tagini. Uh, social democracy versus socialism. We probably don't want socialism, right? Or do we? I don't know. Back Indonesian revolutionaries? It's only 10 day focus, which is nice. State of East Indonesia. State of East Indonesia. American condemnation of human rights abuses in Sumatra. If you wonder about that, please grant it. Concerning. Kingdom of the Netherlands. State of... Alright, so this is the group we want to send guys to. Six. Cool. Y'all got planes? Or air bases? There you go, do that. Um, maybe we got a lot more planes around here. Fighter groups close. Oh, oh yes. So the military to the FLN. The French have long exploited and abused the people of Algeria with a colonial project. Now the Algerians are fighting back with their organization, the National Liberation Front of the FLN. This organization organizes peasants and other exploited people and leads them into an armed struggle against a violent French military bolstered by local collaborators. The FLN promises a new regime of socialism and economic equality for Algeria to aid this effort. The Soviet Union has agreed to begin offering aid to the FLN. Soviet support will be crucial in helping the Algerians stand up against a modern French military. More importantly for the Soviets, undermining French rule and gaining Al Algerian support could prove vital in the long term. More significantly, aiding the FLN confirms the Soviets' long-standing opposition to imperialism and its exploitation of colonized people. A blow to French imperialism. Nice. A couple comments up. Someone says apparently the historical option was to support Egypt instead of like Israel. My bad. Oh well, it is what it is. It's done now. But yeah, that's my bad. My bad. Uh, someone also says win the Chinese Civil War as ROC because they have content after that. Look at that. Concerning. But yeah, uh, that'll be cool. Discreet civilian bombings. Start bombing in Indonesia. This does carry a risk of us being detected. Indirect involvement. Get more guns. Instigate a civil war. Aid so much and stuff. Direct intervention. Hidden involvement. Reduce humanitarian concerns. Escalate the conflict. Exposed. I don't know. Partition Indonesia. And so, oh, Hussein's regime. I kind of want to go indirect. Even though I like civilian bombing. Wait, civilian bombing? Yeah, that's kind of fun. You know what? I don't know which way to go. I don't know which one's more historical, but... <sighs> this seems like indirect involvement might be better, but discrete civilian bombings? I would like this one, but... <sighs> you know what? Let me know in the future. When I play as America again, let's go this way. I think we'll just do indirect involvement for now. I know some people want me to just get involved with everything, and we're trying to, don't get me wrong. But at the same time, I want to be slightly historical, so... The only historical thing about this campaign is my presidents. Or the presidents. Oh, you're here. Oh, wait, why are you still... Did you not win this war over here? Why are you still over here? Are you fighting China? What? Bruh. How are you supposed to... What? Um, uh, okay. Well, whatever. Air drop supplies. Might as well. Because that person would like to win this war for us. Oh, we're already in the heat of it. In the middle of it. Yeah, what do you mean we're not already involved? We already have soldiers there. Don't tell anyone else. Sure, why not? You can tell them. Go, go, go. See your trailer supply consumption goes down by 100%. I like that a lot. Over on those son of a rock suckers. Cool. Good job, guys. We're going to focus on this side first to liberate everyone else. 
All right, su mm, suicide pills. Oh, we got different versions of them. So I'm too happy saying that we like suicide pills. Let's send one of the Doom guys over here too. And instigate a civil war. Oh. Maybe that was a bad idea. You know, let's wait for that one. Um, Just for the fleet. Why not? You guys are looking really weak. Holy crap. These are the missiles that you're missing. That's all. Oh, we're not at war with you guys yet. Okay. Um, my bad. Uh, Farron Sever stabs with Algeria. Cool. You guys are almost there already, which is awesome. Come on, move your little squirrel butts. We're gonna do that too, why not? Just go in if you can. Blow them up if you can. Not super concerned about it, so. Animal in orbit, though. Legislation passed. Awesome. Civil Rights Act. Airport construction first. Guys, it's now 1959, everybody. Hope you're having a great year. Great, great year. We're doing pretty darn okay ourselves. The fight... Oh, SSMP, okay. The fight in Indonesia ain't too bad. Uh, nuclear death charges sound like fun. Focus on sub-detection. Well, we gotta go that way to get some more stuff. So, early reports suggest that the Soviet era, or Soviets are planning to build submarines in the hundreds. They know we cannot match the power of our surface fleet, which is why we need to be ever watchful of underwater threat pillows by subs. Look at all this. Oh, it's so nice. I guess we can do the one. Next one, next. In case of a war. Ah, screw it. Might, might as well. And they're dying. And we love it. It makes us feel good about it. Scorpions? Um, how do they get these guys to kill each other off? That's my question. Sweden abandons it. Okay. Thanks, Sweden. Thanks a lot. Good. Uh, well, time for civil war. The Lushan Conference. All right. Concerning. Followed up with aid the Sumatran government. Direct intervention. As much as I want to do that one, we'll aid Sumatran government, probably. Just forcing other nations to go to war with other people. That's all. The resignation of René Coty. Oh, okay. A rough decade for France. Yeah, uh, France not doing so well right now, man. But happy, happy 59, everybody. Indonesian civil war. Indonesian rebels. In Sumatra, most of the military units started, reason started to revolt, demanding the Sukarno government step down. The rebels believe the communist influence in Jakarta is growing, and Sukarno is failing to their influence. Efforts by Sukarno to resolve the issues and prevent an escalation have been, had some early success, but the CIA believes with its backing it can bring more support for the rebels and turn their revolt into a full scale uprising against Sukarno. That's a greatly weakened Sukarno and help ensure that, uh, that the commies do not manipulate the way to power. The day the music died? Oh god, that sucks. Yeah, the big bopper Richardson, oh god. Tragedy. A real tragedy, man. Nice. Yeah, animal in space. Yeah, you betcha. Um, partition Indonesia. I think it's a col solidify Colonel Hussein's regime. We're going to have done partition Indonesia, but I don't like having all these different states here. I think it's very ugly, I'll be honest. So, no partitions here. Do have more political power now, too. Civil rights, if we have to. So, man into space. We need a lot more stuff research here. But we do have 1.37 trillion in GDP, which is nice. Um, we do need to continue building more electrical plants. Can solidify the regime? Nice. They uh, solidify power in Indonesia with American backing. Colonel Ahmed Hussein solidifies control over Indonesia. Colonel Hussein came to promise as one of the main rebel military officers in Sumatra. He delivered the ultimatum to the Indonesian government for the restoration of the government officials and new elections. However, the government refused, resulting in an armed conflict with American support. The rebels were able to triumph. 
He is expected to announce a cabinet consisting of the top national anti-communist political leaders. As current military junta has several prominent, highly respected anti-communist officers. New elections are being promised, along with the banning of commies and other groups viewed as threats to the Indonesian state and democracy. The CIA and American embassy are reportedly playing a major role behind the scenes to protect the Hussein regime from counter coups being planned by more senior officers. Nice. They're fighting these guys, so there's nothing we can do, which sucks, but whatever. We did the best we can, and now our soldiers are over there, unfortunately. Okay, then. Um, maybe that was a bad idea to do that, but whatever. A super carrier. The Fortress Ofrestral class aircraft carriers were four aircraft carriers designed and built for the U.S. Navy in the 50s. It was the first class of super carriers, combining high tonnage, deck edge elevators, and an angled deck. The first ship was commissioned in 55, and the last decommissioned in 1998. Wow, that's a long time. I want more super carriers, man. Improve or enable illuminator radar. You might as well, right? Sidewinder stuff. High speed strategic bombers. That sounds kind of cool. But yeah, can we get involved in more stuff that happens? Uh, like, war stuff? I want to send more volunteers, even though we still send volunteers. Like, how is South Vietnam supposed to fight China? Bruh. Obviously, they weren't thinking. Still. I wonder when North Vietnam was going to do something. My oh, apologies. Oh, I'm tired. Oh boy. But after this one. Sidewinder missiles, and then we'll probably do some supersonic strategic bombers to see what else we can do here, because it looks like we might be running out of stuff to do until a certain other person gets elected soon, so. I'm not seeing too much else here right now. Oh, Aug, question mark, re. That's definitely interesting. Kingdom of Libya. Oh, God, Africa looks so bad. Why did it decolonize? Oh, it's so multicolored now. I like my continents with a single color. All gray. All a German gray. Cool, got more technology. Uh, at this point, I don't feel too concerned about... Uh-oh. Terrifying. Kaboom! Cool. Sidewinder missiles. And anything else here before we cut out for the uh, episode? Not really, no. Land of Griffin Act, not bad. I like that a lot. You know, we really don't have a lot of social support, but whatever. After that one, Charles F. Adams Class DDG. The Charles F. Adams Class is a ship of 29 guided missile destroyers, DDG, built between 58 and 67. 23 destroyers were built for the U.S. Navy, 3 for the Royal Australian Navy, and 3 for the West German Bundesmarine. The design of these ships was based on that of the four Sherman class destroyers, but the Charles F. Adams Class were the first ones designed to serve as guided missile destroyers. Nice. Just research everything you possibly can. 1.3782 shabby. Getting 62 and a half is not bad. Libya. Wait, why do we care about Libya? Of course, we do want to figure it out. Can we influence Canada so much that they become our puppet? No! I want them as our puppet, god dang it. Nationalization of the Iraqi Petroleum Company. Okay. A loss for the West. Yeah, I'd say so. Maybe we'll get Brazil next. Julesino Kubashek. I've heard of you before. I've heard of you. Um, Maybe Lebanon, because we were pretty good with Lebanon. Israel? 29% influence though. 16%. 40. Yeah, you know what? Let's influence Israel more, maybe, if possible. Economic aid. Yeah, let's get Israel. And we'll do some of this too. Underwater demolition teams. Nice. Get some industry stuff next. Just go ahead and grab that next stuff. Coronation of Mohammed V, long live the Sultan, and Yugoslavia. Yugoslavia. Yugoslavia endorses the Hungarian Revolution. And anti Semitic rhetoric, which is cool. But. I think we've got to end today's episode there. If you enjoyed the video, though, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow when we have the elections to see who's going to be president in 1960. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.